Okay, so once you get your picture, you're going to want to upload it to your computer and go into the paint program and you're going to hit file, open, find your picture and this is my picture and so then you're going to go to print page setup and I did mine um, down here where it says fit to one by one you want to say um, if you want it just like mine I did a two by two and also uh, when the picture first came on there I resized it to 50 by 50 um, I think it was let's see it was 50 horizontal and 50 vertical and I didn't mess with this down here so and then you're gonna print it and it's going to come out in four different pages. Okay, so after you print that, then um, you're going to have the four pages. And then um, this is my second round of doing this. And the first time I just went ahead and cut around. And I guess the reason I went ahead and taped them together is so I could show you um, about how big it was going to be. But I may untape it and then cut it because that seemed like it was going to be a little bit easier. Because when I go to try to cut that, then it's going to be a little bit flimsy. So, but basically, you're not even going to use this anyways. It's basically just to trace onto your canvas. So, it's really not a big deal. You could probably take some tracing paper and trace it and then trace it onto your canvas. That might be the way that I go. We'll see. Okay, so now I have her cut out and I got my stretched canvas and it's time to trace around her in my pencil and then we will be getting some black acrylic paint and coloring her in and then we're going to add stuff, something, bubbles, something. Not sure yet. Wait and see. Hey y'all, so I finally finished the silhouette of my daughter Ella and I am extremely happy with the result. Um, I kind of tend to be a perfectionist so it took me a little while. Um, I kind of wanted to do a little something different because I'm not the best painter in the world so instead of painting the hearts on, I got this grand idea to just get cardstock and um, just cut out hearts and uh, stuff like that. I was going to do bubbles, but when we saw bubbles, like I should have did her, like blowing from a, a little bubble thingy. And um, then when she saw the bubbles, she was like, ooh, these look like eyeballs. So um, we didn't do it with the bubbles. That would have been cute. Um, so I cut the cardstock into little hearts, and I did them all the color of her room. I will show you all that one day. And this is it right here. Here she is, my masterpiece. I named this piece the Ella. The Ella K Guide. <laughs> um, this is what took me forever. The painting didn't. The tracing, the cutting, nothing took me forever even the cutting the hearts did not take me as long as it did to get this trail going the way that i felt happy with it and i i bet you this heart has been done here this heart's been here <sighs> i drive myself nuts blowing she has to go <sighs> so these had to go a certain way like at first i had them going this way like that wouldn't have made no sense <sighs> Anyways, this is it, and I hope y'all enjoyed, and um, I might do one of my little boys soon. Probably not. He won't sit still long enough, So, but we will see. Thanks, y'all. Bye.